Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the press room. It is now time uh, to welcome Team Malta, Federica Falzon, and the rest of the contingency. Thank you and welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us. Okay, so I'm going to keep the same question to everybody. Obviously, I have to change it for you because I can't tell you about what your experience in Malta been like because you live here. But how has the whole JESC experience been till now? Um, uh, <coughs> it was a really fun experience. And uh, I had really great fun making friends with all the contestants. And uh, we have a strong bond with each other. We don't only see the competition, but as the important thing is uh, that we have fun. Is that a competitive element, though? So if, you're, if somebody's running backstage, will you put your foot out to drop them? No, something no. like that? <laughs> no. You never know. I'm just asking. Okay. I'd also like to um, introduce the rest of the, the panel. Um, there's Daniel over here. Um, uh, Gillian, Matthew, <laughs> Mushu, and Elton, who are all part of the, uh, of the team. Um, uh, I'd like to talk a little about, about your performance on stage now, because I know we've been to rehearsals and all. How, is, uh, how are you feeling on stage and your enjoyment of performing live on stage? Um, uh, obviously, I had my rehearsals. Um, uh, that took away a bit of extra excitement. Um, I'm more, I'm, I am more confident on the stage now. And uh, I think it's going to be just amazing when, uh, next Saturday. And uh, how do you feel about performing live? Is it something you prefer, or is it something you feel comfortable with? It's, uh, it's normal, because uh, even in general, you have, uh, even when I'm doing something and the song just uh, pops into my head, I sing it live. So that's a normal thing. Excellent. I'd like to see if there are any questions from the press. If we could open the floor, and uh, JP is going to open it. Okay, good afternoon, Team Malta. Nice to see you all together. Good afternoon, JP. First, I would like to congratulate to El uh, congratulations to Elton and Mushu for the fantastic song that Federica, you bring across so beautifully that gives us goosebumps. And of course, Gillian, not to be forgotten. Uh, maybe I'll start with you the question. Gillian, how long did it take to get Federica to the stage with this voice? How many months, how many years? Oh, well, she's been with me for the last couple of months, two years, I guess. Um, but to, with this song, we've been working very hard every day. She has training every day, and this has been going on really well. And I have a second question too. Of course, uh, we saw two days ago your rehearsal brought goosebumps and tears to many of us just watching it in there. Uh, the next amazing step was that the president of Malta comes to witness this as well, and then she came to the stage to you. What did she tell you? She told me that she very much uh, enjoyed my song. She really liked it, and uh, she would like to hear more from me. And uh, she told me that she will be there to support me on, uh, on Saturday, and uh, I really wish to see her. And uh, it's an honor for me that the president like, likes my song. This is amazing, because no other country would have a president come to rehearsal of their singer. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, just one quick question. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the clothes you'll be wearing? On uh, <coughs> the ones you've worn already and the one you'll be wearing on the, on the Saturday night, on the Friday? Um, uh, on Saturday, I will be wearing um, a gold dress made by Charles and Ron. Um, it has diamonds in it. <laughs> not, like, not real ones. Oh, oh okay. Because okay. Okay. <laughs> otherwise everyone would be picking them, right? If they were real <laughs> diamonds. Well, I would. <laughs> and um, gold shoes with uh, fake diamond band. <laughs> fake, so you don't need to. <laughs> That's good. Okay. We don't need to say that. It's diamonds. Okay. Diamonds. And this this cut this uh, outfit was done uh, specifically for you for this performance. Yes. Okay. Super. Some more questions. We have a question. Hi, it's Edward um, uh, from ESC Extra. I'm curious if any other of the contestants asked you during the social events at the Euro Club or the welcome opening party that ask you about Malta, some historical background about Malta. Um, yes, they... They ask you, actually. They asked me um, the places that they could visit 
I told them uh, our ancient cities, which are Bed Valletta, Emdina, and Virgo Vittorioso, and uh, even to go shopping, they could go to Slema and <laughs> and St. Julian's and uh, those places. I'm quite sure there was lots of girl talk going on. <laughs> the best shoes are from there, the makeup. Okay, we have a question Hello, here. Hello, Federica, George Hello. Cremona from Radio RTK. First of all, congratulations to all the team. And uh, I would like to ask you, you are the winner as well of the, of the La Shona Canzona. How has this experience abroad helped you as well? And how will it help you face the, the public? Obviously, um, it made me more confident on TV. And uh, I, I used to get a bit extra excited, um, though now I'm, uh, I'm more confident, I'm more relaxed, I know, uh, for example, uh, I need to look at the cameras and uh, a smile and all those, uh, all those things and other stuff, and I think it helped me to be more confident on TV. The tricks of the trade, that's what you've learned. We have a question from Gat. Hi, Federica. Um, you were unfortunate enough to see me in my pyjamas last <laughs> night. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but you are staying with us in the hotel. Yes. Um, how is that to see everyone running around in their pyjamas and eating breakfast? So, uh, like, do you feel more part of the experience by living with the other contestants? Yes, um, because I like making new friends and uh, I like going out with my friends and having fun. And... Uh, it's uh, even better to stay with them because you feel more relaxed. Um, even you could share a laugh together or something like that. And uh, it's better that I stay with them because, uh, if for example, I stayed at home for the rest of the, of the week and I came on Friday and Saturday and I wouldn't know anyone. It would be a kind of awkward and strange, so it's better. I'd like to, co to continue on this. Uh, yes. uh, I've been looking on your Facebook page. Can you tell us who is that friend, Jake? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> um, uh, he, is, um, he goes to St. Catherine's School, which is uh, the school that is uh, representing Malta. They are cheering for Malta, and uh, he's, he is uh, one of my best friends from the school. He's also a parish priest. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about it. Because they, uh, when, when I went to visit the school, um, uh, they had a play um, about how they used to uh, get married in, uh, um, in, the old, uh, in the past times. And uh, he was the priest, so we, I call him the priest. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to ask uh, Elton Matthew now a couple of questions about how the song came to be. Yeah. You need a microphone if, if possible, thank you. The whole, the whole experience, the whole progress of the song. Yeah, actually we started months ago working on Federica. Uh, it wasn't an easy job actually because uh, of the uniqueness of her, vo her voice. Uh, we needed to get the best out of her with, together with Gillian and, and Matt. We literally wrote the song together and with her, with us. So actually it was a fantastic experience because uh, we worked together as a team the whole time. We did loads of uh, versions of the song. So we chose the best one and 18 actually, 18 <laughs> versions of the song and, 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 and different melodies we had. Um, but yes, yes. We, we um, so Matt, uh, that's my question. So the song was written specifically for her. It wasn't a song which she adapted to, but was written specifically for her. No, um, one thing I'd like to mention is the inputs Federica put when writing the song. I was really impressed by all her ideas. It wasn't the case that she was just there. She was actually coming up with a lot of the lines and most of the lines that were kept for the song she wrote herself. So it was co-written by Federica for sure, because she is she had so many amazing ideas. I think she has a really bright future, not just as a singer, but even in songwriting. And there's always a future. 
um, uh, obviously we, th with all the success, in the karaoke bars, because that's where it all started, no? <laughs> Your grandfather took you to a karaoke bar, and then this is where you are today. Um, one word of advice, or a bit of advice, if you'd have for somebody who, um, uh, like me, would like to start singing in karaoke bars and all that, what <laughs> advice would you give these people? Um, I hope they have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and that they like what they're doing. And they don't need to do it only if uh, someone forces them, but uh, obviously you need to do it because you like what you're doing. And uh, then we, you can see how much, for example, your, tel your talent uh, um, even the people, uh, you could see the people who enjoy your talent, they could even give you some advice. And uh, if you think that you have uh, a talent and you need to show it to all, uh, all, all the other people, you can uh, start from there. And do you remember the, song, the first song you karaoke sang with your grandfather? The first song that I sang in front of the people was Rose Garden by um, Lynn Anderson. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask if I have any more questions. Yes, we have another question from Edward. So, we know you are a young, talented soprano, but any other favorite musical in general? Thank don't you. Don't tell me rock. That was my next <laughs> question. No, no, Thank don't you. tell me rock, because of him. <laughs> um, uh, in general, actually, I n not never, but um, it's rare that I hear the song that I'm usually or going to sing or the genre that I'm, I, I sing because uh, I don't like to hear it that much. Though as uh, singing, I very much like opera. Though in general, I, uh, I like to hear uh, pop ballads like, for example, All of Me by John Legend and uh, even Sam Smith is, a, is one of my favorites. Do you have a question from George? So on Saturday, you will be singing as well, hashtag together with all the other contestants. Yes. First of all, I would like to congratulate Elton for the wonderful music and the beginning of the show. Very, very well done. <laughs> as well, as well, a good garden. How, how uh, was this experience recording with the other contestants? Obviously, I had more fun than recording alone because you have your friends uh, I had my friends with me, and uh, I think it's uh, it's my favorite part of the show because we'll be together and we will be having fun on the stage, and it's just amazing. Okay, do we have any other question? We have another question here. Federica, what are your ambitions for the next few years? Do you want to become a singer, mm. or you got anything else planned? What you would like to become in the future? I don't know yet. I. Uh, I still have time to see. But will music always be part of your life? Yes, yes. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to choose one artist. We know you had the opportunity to perform with Leona Lewis a short yes. while ago. Now, if you had to choose anybody in the whole world to perform with, obviously apart from myself, who would it be? Um. Anyone in the whole world. It's a tough question, that one. She's got plenty. Oh, okay. <laughs> any, okay, any three. <laughs> um, obviously, I performed with uh, Joseph Kaleya. That was my wish. And uh, I would like to maybe, if <laughs> one day perform, uh, or at least meet Sandria Bocelli. And uh, or okay. Sarah Brightman, someone like okay. that. Okay, so Andrea Bocelli and Sarah Brightman, we have to um, uh, get in touch with them yeah. to make this happen. Okay, so the people out there, we have to make it happen. Okay, do we have any further questions for um, uh, Team Malta? Okay, so congratulations and best of luck, Thank Federica, you. for Saturday. Congratulations to all the team. <laughs> and uh, please hang around for a few photos.